Hi guys, it's Sam here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make Albers famous cornbread. It's not an original recipe and the reason why this tutorial is even here is because I recently taught my daughter, my eight-year-old daughter, how to make cornbread and since I taught her how to make it, it's all she wants to make. This recipe was introduced to me by an old co-worker at Bank of America. Laura Lee, if you're watching, hi. I missed everyone at the bank. I miss you guys. She introduced me to this recipe and I was never, I kid you not, I was never a cornbread lover until I had this recipe and I have no doubt in my mind that you guys will become a believer as well. So what you're going to do first is I have a 9x9 nine nine inch ceramic baking dish. So I'm going to hit it with some a piece of parchment paper. Now you can omit this part. You can totally skip this part with that parchment paper. The only reason why I'm doing that is that I want to be able to lift up my cornbread out of the pan when it's done so that I can cut into it better and it just makes more nice and more uniform pieces. So first I'm going to spray my baking dish with some of this baking spray. And then I'm going to place my piece of parchment paper in like that. And then I'm going to spray it again. You don't have to spray it again, but I do anyways. I don't know why. <laughs> and then I'm going to put that aside. So put that aside, that's good to go. So I have my mixing bowl here. So first you wanna start off with one cup of cornmeal. You can use any cornmeal you want, but like I said, this is Albert's recipe, so I usually stick to Albert's cornmeal. One cup of that. So now, you're going to measure out one cup of all-purpose flour. You're also going to need one tablespoon of baking powder. You're also going to need a quarter cup, quarter cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. So I'm done mixing, so now we're just going to add in our wet ingredients. So I'm going to add in some milk. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know that I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm going to use some lactose-free milk and some vegetable oil. And you're also going to need one whole egg lightly beaten, and I'll go get that in a second. So now I'm going to add in one cup of milk. So I'm just going to add that right in. I'm going to add in a third of a cup of vegetable oil. And then to this oil, I'm going to add in one large egg and I'm going to slightly beat it and then throw it in here as well. So into my oil, I'm going to crack in one large egg. And then I'm going to lightly beat that and add that into my mixing bowl. And just take a hand mixer and mix until combined. You want to make sure you don't want to over mix. So I would say like a minute of mixing it with a hand mixer. So I'm just going to pour my batter, my silky batter into my pan here. I can't believe my daughter ditched me. She is supposed to be doing this tutorial. She begged me, begged me you know, to see if she can film this. She's like, Mommy, I'm so good at making cornbread now. Can I can I film it and put it on your YouTube channel? I was like, oh, that's fun. That's cute. Okay, yeah, we'll do, let's do that. And then so I, I got up this morning. I was like, oh, you're ready to film the tutorial. It's going to be so fun. She's like, Mommy, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to get dressed. I don't want to brush my teeth. I said, girl, yeah, brush your teeth anyways. You better get in there. <laughs> But anyway, so here I am doing all the dirty work for her and all she has to do is come down and eat. Isn't that sad? Now she's upstairs with her brother watching some wild crats all nice and peaceful. Normally I'd say no, but wild crats is a pretty good educational show. So they're upstairs watching that right now. But for real, I got pumped. Next time they come home hungry, I'm gonna be like, I made you guys dinner, everything that you wanted. And then they're gonna be like, yay. And then I'm gonna be like, psych. <laughs> You know what? You punk me, I punk you back. That's how it goes. So now that this is all in here, I'm, I'm only kind of kidding. I'm not going to starve my children. I wouldn't do that. 
or what I. <laughs> so I like to give it kind of a gentle wiggle to flatten out the batter. And then now all that's left is to bake this in your preheated oven and I'll show you guys a trick on making it amazing. So the cornbread's done, took about 20 minutes and now you gotta hit it with some honey. That was the trick. And make sure your cornbread is still piping hot when you do this. I go up and down vertically first and then I go back horizontally and finish it one last time right down the middle. That honey is going to seep in slowly into your cornbread. It's going to make it slightly sweet, but also it's going to keep your cornbread nice and moist. All right, now it's time to taste. Usually, I like the centerpieces. Let's say when you're talking about cinnamon rolls, you want the centerpiece where it's nice and gooey. But for cornbread, the best piece is actually the side and the corner pieces where all the honey tends to soak up the most, and that's my favorite part, just a little FYI. And I know some of you are watching and thinking, that's no big secret, whoop de doo da but you know what, I just found this out recently, and I tried making cornbread myself, I was like, it's not as good, something's missing, how come it's not as good? And the secret was just adding honey at the very end, and just that one little tip just changed my whole perspective on cornbread, like for real. Who would have thought? So now we're gonna take a bite of this yummy goodness. Mmm. It's so moist. And that honey just adds an extra hint of sweetness without being too over the top. I wish I had some chili. I've made chili before and I dipped the cornbread in it. So good. Or maybe some baked beans. Mm. I'm making ribs tonight because my kids requested it. The Malaysian kids requested it. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.